After doing my gimbal technique video, I've been thinking a lot about what we can do to minimize the bobbing up and down issue we get when we're walking with our gimbals. So last week I've been doing some experiments and trying different techniques to, to get rid of that pesky bobbing up and down issue. I started to ask myself, is there any way we can anchor the gimbal to the ground somehow? And that got me thinking about a method I've been using quite a lot, basically ever since I started using gimbals, and that is whenever I am in the vicinity of a table or some flat surface, I just take a standard piece of paper, put it on the table, and then just place my gimbal on the paper. And now you just can slide around with your gimbal and getting some kind of a smooth, stable shots with a setup like this. No bobbing up and down motion, a very stable, smooth footage. But this method requires you to have a smooth surface around you, and also if the audio is critical in the scene, you might be picking up some kind of a scratchy sound from the paper. But if those two issues isn't a problem, this is actually a pretty good idea. And I started to think, is there any way we can take this workflow and apply it to, to, to the ground or to the floor? I went online to try to find the most slippery, frictionless sheet of material that we could use, not only on a desk like this, but also on the floor. And that led me to these reusable Teflon baking sheets. So we're getting into a kind of a silly territory here, but hey, if it works, it works. As you might know, Teflon is basically the most frictionless, slippery material out there. So let's try to see if this can work as some kind of a sheet that we can glide with our gimbal on. We can do a test right here. Let's remove our paper and just bring over one of the sheets and then just... Yeah, I'd say it's a little bit smoother and also it's a little bit less noisier. I already done a lot of experiment with these baking sheets and actually you can get some usable footage out of this, this method. However, when you're on the floor, there are usually crevices and maybe the floor isn't that even that you would hope for. And then it's quite noticeable that your, in my case, my monopod foot is grabbing onto all of these irregular parts of the floor. I started looking into other methods and I remember I had one of those tripod spreaders with wheels done in my basement at work. So I mounted these cheap Amazon wheels on this spreader. But honestly, I think these wheels are not up to par. It's They're quite cheap because whenever I roll with this, I can see that the whole system is wobbling back and forth and it really vibrates too much to be usable. I bought those wheels for like 15 euros a pop, so maybe if I spend a little bit more money on high quality wheels, I could get something like that to work. Then I had another idea, and I remembered I had one of those tabletop smaller dollies with skateboard wheels. So I went looking and I found this one that I bought a long time ago, Augie Film Gear. I don't know if they still exist, but this is a very nice piece of equipment. These wheels are very smooth. You can see how, how extremely smooth the, these wheels are. This one is, of course, made for tabletops or desks or, you know, tables in any shape or form. But then I wanted to try to mount a monopod onto this little dolly and then mount the gimbal on top of that monopod. And this actually works remarkably well. It's even smoother than the tripod spreader and I think it all comes down to the wheels. The wheels on this dolly here is much smoother and high quality than the wheels I got from Amazon to the tripod spreader. So you can see that with little effort, I can just move this entire system like this. And it's pretty smooth, it's very usable. The only drawback here is that when you have a pole like this, 
it tends to sway quite a lot and if you're not careful you will end up having something like this where the entire monopod and the gimbal starts to sway like this look at that it's so smooth that it can go by itself I started thinking about how we can deal with the monopod swaying around like that so it's better to use a tripod because a tripod by its design is much more stable because all of the three legs goes up to the tripod head so I started thinking about a new kind of a a dolly let's see if I can explain this idea here so this is the top-down view of this new dolly I am I'm thinking about developing here in the middle we got our tripod head or the center of our tripod and then we have our legs going out like this and we know that this is a stable setup let's say we have one wheel here we have one wheel here and then we have the axle going to the other side like this so we can have one other wheel here and the fourth wheel here and now we just need to make some kind of a platform so let's say we have a platform that goes like this goes down here that wheel should be a little bit farther out i guess and then it goes back here goes up like this and there it is a small tiny dolly that goes straight forward that is smooth because i want to use these bigger wheels not the one i i bought from amazon those cheap wheels but maybe one of those kick scooter wheels i think that they're uh, of a much higher quality than these I have on my spreader right now and I really want this system this setup to be a one-man band type of, of dolly I want it small and compact so I can walk next to it and move the entire setup with my hands and then use my thumb to to tilt and and pan the gimbal with the joystick so this will be my last attempt before I start moving into my new short film we'll see how this goes maybe it will be terrible i don't know but i will keep you posted and i hope this was helpful i will see you in the next one bye